Creativity is an addiction. When you're aware of it, you live a different path. You try to understand what creativity has done to you and what it's not going to do to you. You can't live without it because you live by it. But when you call it what it is, it is an addiction. You change things so that you can live peacefully together. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Stream thinking. Learning how to trust what's in your present. Now to get there requires practice. One sheet of paper a day. 10 minutes, write about whatever is moving through your presence of now, but you can't do it with judgment. Leave that little perfectionist over there. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener. It helps you with your skills as a communicator, and it will build you up in confidence when it comes to being an activator, learning to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today, we're reading from October 2nd, 2022. This isn't a journal. This isn't a book overtaken by a need to rant and rave. The idea is to introduce the creative self to multiple areas that a pin can take you without creating that place of emptiness. What you're searching for is peace as well as growth. With stream thinking, there are no walls to block you from a rant or a rave. There's not even a royal moat keeping you from entering a newer area of expression. Get in here? Not an easy task, mainly because we've all been trained to endlessly judge what it is that we put out there as art, to do all we can to make it perfect. When it doesn't live up to such an unfair acceptance, the sliver of creativity is in that moment of, oh, well, now I'm going to let you go. It's time for you to be gone. We set it aside. Our hearts have learned to accept emptiness. It's called getting up and brushing the dirt off your knees. Lost forever? I don't think so, because the day that you chose to breathe is the moment that you chose to create. Stream thinking, it has changed everything. And that's why it's become such a journey to help open up the clogged minds of so many creative people. I'm blessed with the opportunity to share conversations in lectures at these schools of broadcasting. And one of the things that I really try to work hard with is the fact that I want them to just let it go. I can see it in their eyes. Let your thoughts grow. Because when you plant a thought, it creates conversation. The conversation can grow in so many different directions. You don't have to agree with it, but yet a conversation took place. See, texting and emails and Instagram and and TikTok, those are things of expression when it comes to viewing, and your eyes will take things in. But when your ears hear the conversation, your body acts differently. Just listen to the voice. And that's one of the challenges that I have with my wife. She'll turn off the TV when I get up and, and I'll go, no, no, keep it on. And she goes, no, you, you, you're leaving. We'll, we'll, we'll pause it. And then when you come back, we'll start it again. No, 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 no. You have to understand I'm an audible. I can hear from a different room what is going on in the story. I don't need to see the pictures in order to be there to feel that story taking place. But on this particular day, I had to admit to myself on the second day of October in 2022 that this is not just a journal. It's not a book overtaken by a need to rant and rave. It's stream thinking. It's allowing yourself to set free what is going to help shape the next conversation. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.